a chat with Dr. Anthony Stevens, who's going to talk to us about body modifications. Dr. Stevens, yeah, kind of tell me uh, what we're going to talk about today. Well, you know, body modification, we're talking specifically about earlobes and people that have had multiple piercings with split earlobes or torn earlobes. We see that very commonly. And now we're seeing more and more of something called gauging or enlarging the earlobe, where they're actually putting large plugs in the earlobe and then asking us to reconstruct them as we see here on the monitor. This is a picture of a split earlobe that we've had to modify or reconstruct wow. and fix. And some of these, this would be one that we talked about with tapering or piercing and then stretching the earlobe. And so you see how these look when the uh, ring or plug is placed in the earlobe and then we'll actually reconstruct the earlobe. And a lot of these can be very difficult to do and can leave permanent scarring. And so, you know, the public needs to know if we're going to do these sort of things, there is, you know, the consequence to that and it ends up being reconstructing the earlobe, which can be done mostly under local anesthetic, but it is costly and it does leave some permanent scarring. Doctor, that looks pretty painful. Uh, are there any other side effects, obviously, besides the the way it looks. The way it looks. Well, in, during the process, I mean, we've seen and treated people that have gotten infected uh, from placing different types of material into the enlargement of the ear. And the best thing uh, that if you look at some of these sites is usually uh, glass or titanium rather than any type of pore so, uh, substance which can lead to an infection. And we treated several of those recently. You mentioned that it's pretty costly. Uh, how much are we looking at? Well, it depends on the time involved in, in reconstructing these. They could be, you know, from several thousand dollars uh, to maybe uh, five or six thousand, depending on how, uh, in, you know, that we need to do this. I mean, some of these things can actually end up going to the operating room where we need to put these patients under general anesthetic to actually fix. And so it can take uh, quite a bit of time to fix some of these things and it can be very costly and you're not assured that you're not going to have some permanent scarring which can lead to keloids as we've talked about earlier which is another problem that we see commonly in earlobes. Well thank you so much doctor for joining us. We'll be right back. The Acadian 